Hello, it's pleasure to present this paper video of Experimental Studies of Different Quenching Media on Mechanical and Wear Behavior of Aluminium 7075 Silicon Carbide Alumino Oxide Hybrid Composites. In this paper, the aluminum 7075 alloy is reinforced with 2, 4, 6 and 8 weight percent of ceramic particulates to fabricate the hybrid metamatrix composites routed through steel casting process. For enhancing the properties like mechanical and wear behavior of developed composites, the samples were retreated with different quenching media. This is water and ice cubes. The obtained results indicated that the composites with the highest tensile strength, hardness and enhanced wear resistance are found in the ice quenched composites when compared to as received and water quenched composites. In the present investigation, aluminum 7075 have been used as a base matrix. The two different hard ceramic particulates, this is aluminum oxide and silicon carbide were used as a reinforcement. Both the base matrix and reinforcements were melted by using coke furnace. Molten melt is poured into the preheated mold box. After solidification, the catch samples were removed from the mold box. The catch samples were machined according to ASTM standards by using CNC machining process. The composite samples were subjected to heat treatment. Finally, heat treated samples were separated by Saddam as received, water quenched and ice quenched samples. the figure 1, it is observed that the maximum ultimate tensile strength is achieved in the ice quenched and 8% of reinforcement composites. From the figure 2, it is concluded that out of all these composite specimens, the tensile strength is higher for the ice quenched specimens. The factorography image shows that the change in the mode of failure occurs from ductile to brittle due to ice quenched and 8% of reinforcement. Figure 6 shows the hardness of the composite and figure 7 shows the wear loss of the composite. From the figure 6 and 7 it is concluded that higher hardness and high wear resistance were achieved in the high quenched composites when compared to as received and water quenched composites. Figure 8 and 9 shows the same image of worn out surfaces of the composites. From the image it is observed that more number of grooves and patches are present on the worn out surfaces. It is generally due to the presence of hard ceramic particulates within the composites. Figure 10 shows the PDA spectrum of the worn out surface of the composite samples. The image shows the existence of elemental composition and also indicates the presence of silicon carbide and alumina oxide content within the composites. Conclusions Composite samples were heat treated at 480 degrees centigrade for the duration of 2 hours and quenched in water and ice media. The maximum ultimate tensile strength hardness and high wear resistance were achieved in ice quenched composite when compared to as received and water quenched composite. The factorography image shows that the change in mode of failure occur from ductile to brittle due to ice quenched and 8% of reinforcement. EDS analysis of worn out surface shows the existence of elemental composition and also indicates the presence of silicon carbide and aluminum oxide content within the composite.